Are we filming? Yes, we are. So welcome to another of my videos. Um, I've just done one. I've just done uh, a mail time and I just thought while I'm here, um, I, uh, I've been meaning to do a quick video uh, regarding um, what would you get? This is a, uh, I picked this up. I mean, it dates from 1921. Um, it's one of the Filofaxes uh produced um in the anniversary in the anniversary year uh, of file effects 1921 um and i just th this is this is uh unopened i'm going to open it and i just i just thought although i am uh mainly interested in vintage file effects and I like to customize the contents of a file of to suit uh, my requirements. Um, clearly, when you buy, typically when you buy a new file of you will get a range of a, a, a range of papers, a selection of papers. That's the technical term that they use quite often uh, with the FLB group. Um, but I just wanted to quickly run through what you would get if you bought a file of back in. 1921, one of the budget models. Um, if I take the, the plastic off. Um, okay, so this is, I can't remember wh which one this is, but it's the, it's the Metropole. So it's, it's, the, it's the vegan option, if you like. Um, quite a budget model, but, uh, but uh, no better, no, 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 less, um, no less useful for it. Um, but what do you get? Um, okay, so you get the you get the standard fly leaf. Um, then you get six of these dividers marked one to six, and then you can you've got some to do sheets. Uh, then you've got some paper. This paper is is actually dated twenty thirteen. Now I know this is quite a common thing where paper sits on the shelves for literally years. I recently ordered some white unlined paper um, last year, just before Christmas, and, the, and the, the paper was dated 2011. And we're talking about Christmas 2022. So it was sitting on their shelf for 11 years. Not that that makes any difference, frankly, but it is interesting that that is, that is, that is a thing, you know. Um, so you get some lined paper, um, just a few sheets, and then this quadrille, this quadrille paper. Again, it's dated 20, 2013, actually. These dividers, they're dated 2013 as well. Very, very interesting. Um, so some quadrille, some quadrille paper, um, surprisingly quite a lot. And then some, a few pages of unlined paper, again, dated 2013. Um, and this is this is as it as it was purchased. Um, uh, then you've got some some blue paper, just a few sheets. Again, twenty thirteen. Um, surprising green again, twenty thirteen. Uh, I don't know when this. I mean, this was uh, this was sold in nineteen sorry twenty twenty one. When would this be manufactured? I don't know. Um, presumably not as early as 2013, but clearly, uh, clearly, um, uh, you can't you can't be sure about the date because that's something that I uh, I wish that they had. You know, they're they're very keen on uh, dating the paper sheets, and they've done that for many many years. Um, it's a shame that they don't do do have some sort of date uh, other than other than the quote quality control code, which is subject to. Uh, subject to some conjecture as to the interpretation of the date in the code. Uh, a few pink sheets, <coughs> excuse me, and then and then we've got some uh, contact sheets, again, 20, 2023. Um, uh, interestingly, um, it's they still mark. They've got rid of the fax number. They don't put the fax number down there anymore. Um, but they do have separate separate spaces for the telephone and the mobile telephone. 
Um, interesting. Um, and then the uh, and then this is this is the twenty twenty one week on two pages diary, which came as standard, uh, which uh, which is still in here, obviously, because I because I, it's never been used. This is as it came out of the the packaging, as it were. So uh, so that could be reused for. I I never waste paper, but I was just in, I was just curious. So I bought this back in twenty twenty one. Um, and it's just been sitting on my shelf unused ever since. Um, and um, and then there's the uh, the, the ruler again, uh, twenty twenty three again. Uh, actually, let's have a look. this this twenty 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 one diary. It was printed in twenty nineteen. Interesting, interesting. Um, then the uh, the adverts saying that the the refills are available now um typically they would they would insert this into the into the diary around about october times but i i believe that that you can you don't have to wait that long in fact aftermarket aftermarket suppliers you know i've, I've never really understood the um i mean i'm digressing here but i've never understood the logic of having a 12 month diary where you have to wait until three months to go or four months or five months to go before you could actually get hold of another diary ideally you want you want uh for instance you want the, the um you want to really be able to have the diary for next year in january of this year in my opinion uh but anyway so what else do we get so we've got um uh we've got another advert at the back and then finally we have um a uh um one of these uh is there one of them or two no it's just one one of these plastic uh dockets which is dated 2012 so filofax metropole never never been used straight out of the packet but that is what you get and and I think these are quite good value. I, I I'm not sure. I think I paid, I I think I paid twenty pound for it two years ago. Um. So um, you know, I mean that's that's the, uh, you, that's only the price of three beers, isn't it? Um. So uh, not a lot at all. Not a lot at all. Okay, there we go. So I thought that'd be interesting for you. Thanks very much for sharing this video with me. I really appreciate that. Until next time, goodbye.